question is, um, what problem, what issues are there that we need to overcome? Yeah, yeah. So the challenges. I, I think one of the main challenges is going to be about the people who are going to have to give up some power to mm. enable this. Um, I think the problems are um, making sure that people really do feel they, like they have an equal place at the table. Um, I think, that, you know, one of the challenges is going to be is that, you know, some of these organisations don't have the funding to support this work and we need to think about how we can improve that for them. Um, so, yeah, I think those are what the problems are going forward. Mm. But I think that actually I get the feeling that within the ICS that I work, you know, the bits that I do, that people are willing and they realise, um, senior managers that I, you know, I have to give presentations to all the time to get bits of funding or whatever. People are a lot more understanding and I think they're on board. The powers that be, mm. you know, that's what you need. I, mean, I think it's really important that we have organisations like your own, you know, which you're able to feed back into, mm. you know, otherwise, and, and you know, and but you've got to feel like that's being listened to and enacted on. So how many of, as you say, the powers that be, how many of them are actually in that co-production process, like, like round that table, whatever that might look like? I don't know because uh, we, we're going to have these new ICB, you know, the, the ICB boards mm. and the ICP boards, and I know that they're looking to make sure they get proper representation on those mm. boards yes. from the voluntary sector. Yeah. But again, like I said, you know, if you've got someone who runs a voluntary organisation and they have to be at a weekly mm -hmm. meeting, then we have to understand that that's taking them away from work that they're normally doing, and that maybe there needs to be some funding attached to that, even if it's just a, an admin budget. You know, so that people can, yeah. you know, um, so. But I think we're, I think we're on the right track, and I think yeah. having the ICS, uh, you know, having the new world of the ICS means that people are forced to do that now. You know, it's an opportunity that's yeah. presented. Yeah, yeah I'm talking about force. You're talking about an opportunity. Well. But yeah, <laughs> it is. It is an opportunity, and I think a lot of the people I've been working with, I think, have grasped that opportunity mm. and see the value of that. So, David, thank you so much for coming to have a cup of tea with us at the Health Watch Suffolk offices. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Uh, you kept me very happy with strawberries and biscuits. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> we had no. some, some healthy and some not yes, so healthy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but, no, thanks for the opportunity to talk about co-production. Uh, co I think it's an important thing um, for the future. So, thank you for asking me. Fantastic. See you later.